Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to work on the slam ball seiza to half kneeling. This exercise is not easy. Most of the slam ball stuff that we are doing is based on improving our mobility while using load to help us do that. The seiza position is a full kneeling position where you sit your glutes all the way down on your heels, and I will show you that in a second. Martial artists will recognize this, specifically people who follow Japanese lineages of martial arts. Seiza is the resting position. The point of the seiza is this drill. It is that you can get up out of it very effectively and easily, very quickly. And they use this in Iaido, which is Japanese swordsmanship, like the art of quick draw that you would see cowboys do only with Japanese swords. And they use this position in Judo and Aikido and all these Japanese specific based martial arts. Before we start this, I would like to point out that I am not good at Seiza anymore. I've had three knee surgeries after ripping my leg completely in half and I am moving at the max range that I can move. If you haven't had your leg chopped apart, you should be better at this than me. You should be able to attain a better quality of movement at this exercise than me. I use this exercise specifically to help myself maintain and improve my knee mobility over time in the least shocking and horrible way possible. We are gonna to get to our full kneeling position. We are going to pick the slam ball any way we want up. We are going to get to our hug position. The top of this movement, we want our hips forward, not our hips back. If your lower back hurts, push your hips forward, squeeze your glutes. Get the weight up. I'm gonna hold the weight a little bit low so it doesn't interfere with the microphone, but you would probably be holding it up higher. Let's try not to interfere with the microphone. Hips all the way forward. Toes rolled underneath. Sit down and back. What we don't want is a ducktail in this position. Round your spine, pull your belly button in as hard as you can. This is Seiza. You should be lower than me. I have a gap. You should be able to sit all the way down. From here, drive your hips up and forward. Step forward with one leg, slide out. I'm gonna to touch my lead knee to this lead leg. Drive up, leg back, sit back. No ducktail round the spine, drive up, step forward, drive forward, sit back, rock back, drive, step, sit back, drive, sit back, drive, sit back, drive, sit back. This exercise is gonna be really hard for most people. You're going to need to start with a light slam ball or no slam ball at all. The point of the slam ball is that it gives you something to let you know if you're doing something weird with your spine. Most people are gonna start this and they're gonna to try to do this ducktail chest out position. What we want is you to do the opposite of that. Take your hips, Roll them underneath. Same way we do with a kettlebell swing, the same way we do with the top of a squat. We're just translating that muscular contraction into another position. We are working to get our core contraction in this position. Holding something in front of you will help you do that because it will allow you to round around the object and focus on that squeeze. Think of this as Pilates for martial artists, start with a lightweight, build it up. If you can do this with a 70 to 100 pound slam ball, we are generally sure that your seiza is pretty good. And then martial artists will integrate this into different types of drills, different types of standing and moving drills later on. The health of your knees and your hips is the health of your back. If your knees suck or your hips suck, your back is probably going to hurt. This is one of those exercises that may not be attainable in the beginning, but it should be something that you work towards slowly and progressively over time. 